Hello everyone, what's up? It is Tree here, of course, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Optifine mod for Minecraft version 1.4.2 and above. That means it should work for future versions to come. Uh, with that said, you can go and leave a comment if you would like me to do any other mod to show you guys how to install it. Um, I'll be glad to do it. I'll hit you up with a comment and let you know if I can do it. Um, so yeah, we're going to get started. What you need to do is you need to open the link in the description, and you'll be brought to the Optifine uh, Minecraft form page. Um, so basically, um, I'm in 1.4.2, so I can't. I can only show you how to install the Alter version, but the installation is the same way. So if it is 1.4.4 and they have Optifine standard updated, then you can download the uh, standard version, and it works exactly the same as this tutorial. So you can use any of these versions. Um, so in my case, I'm just going to download the Alter version. So I'm just going to go and click Download. Of course, you'll be redirected to an Adify link. You'll have to wait five seconds. You can skip the ad. Um, now, my stuff automatically will be on the desktop, so I highly recommend saving this link that you get here to your desktop. If you don't save it to your desktop, it's going to be increasingly hard um, to do this. It'll just make it far more easier if you just save it to your desktop. So just save it to your desktop. Um, go ahead and close this internet page. We don't need it anymore. Um, now, this is the only thing we need because Optifine is actually standalone. Um, you don't need any other mods. You can you can install this with other mods. You could, let's say, you wanted... Um, the timber mod for Minecraft. You can install that alongside of this with Mod Loader or Minecraft Forge. It doesn't it doesn't matter which one it is. Um, so with that said, all we need to do is go down the bottom left here and type percent app data percent and then click enter. This will bring you to your roaming folder. Inside your roaming folder you'll see a file called dot minecraft. Open that up. Inside here you'll see a folder called bin. Open that up. Now of course inside here you'll see a file called minecraft.jar or minecraft executable jar file. Just go and click that and right click it and open with WinRAR. You can actually use 7-zip too if you would like, um, it doesn't really matter, you just need to be able to open the minecraft.jar. Um, so in here you'll see a file called meta-inf in capital letters, right click that and delete files and click yes. If you fail to delete it or forget, um, you'll get stuck at the end of a loading screen or a black screen, so make sure you delete it or you will be unable to play Minecraft unless you force update your Minecraft. Um, so what we need to do now is we need to open up our Optifine download that's on the desktop or wherever you have it downloaded at. Just open it. And then what we need to do is we just got to go ahead and right-click this, select all, and drag and drop it into our Minecraft.jar. Click OK. Go ahead and close your Minecraft.jar. Close Optifine. Everything should be working now. We're just going to go and run Minecraft and just show you guys that everything's working as usual. So we're going to log in. And, of course, you're not going to get a black screen. Everything should work fine. Uh, in my case, I have Minecraft 1.4.2, but it should work for whatever version you have. Go to your options, and go to video settings, and then you'll have all sorts of new things. I'll just go in and just change some stuff to show you guys it's working. Um, let's see, what else can I show you guys? A smooth FPS. All right, I'll just show you that. It, I'll just show you guys that it actually works. I can create a world and actually log in and whatnot. I'm creating a world, and it's building up the terrain. Obviously, it'll probably take a couple seconds. Um, there you go, and if you can tell me, oh, there they are, okay, sounds are, half the sounds work when you start, when you originally make the mod, but, uh, once you install the mod, the sounds will eventually pop in, it just takes a little bit of time, because this is a clean Minecraft for me, a clean mi dot Minecraft, and a, uh, clean installation, so there's no other mods or anything installed. Um, so yeah, as you can see, everything's working, so, thank you guys for watching, as usual, please rate and subscribe, and make sure you leave a comment of anything, any other mod you'd like me to show you how to install, I'll be glad to let you know if I can do it or not. I'll see ya. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you later.